Look at my tentacle rod stats. Tell, all right, this is the finale of Storm King's Thunder, episode 54-ish. Your tentacle rod you got off of the... Yeah, okay, rod of tentacles, plus 12. Ooh, <laughs> plus 12. 30 feet. Wait, wait, it's like... Uh, rod of tentacles. Uh, rod of Slark Grethel. Wait, where's my charisma? Hold on. Uh, charisma is fine. Let's, let's sit. Wait. What? Did this, was I just been doing this all wrong the whole time? Oh, proficient. So it's plus five, plus five. It's plus 12? Okay. Rod Got of it. Slark Grethel, plus 12. 30 mm-hmm. feet range. Three die six bludgeon. Uh, the grapple is 18 decks. 18, oh baby. And you know, bonus tax on a bonus action. Uh huh. Okay, Pretty exciting. All right. You all ready? Yeah. Yeah. You yoga people paying attention? Yeah, I'm just, someone didn't have their sheet ready. Who's or that? or her character. I don't know. Or her NPC ready? I don't know. It's a mystery. <laughs> we'll never figure it out. But yeah, we're ready. She doesn't have her thirteenth level. She didn't go thirteenth to thirteenth level. She had it, but she doesn't. There's a couple of things. I, I, she doesn't know what her. I think her rage is plus four damage now. On the extra bit. You don't have the player's handbook. Uh, sorry, it's no. all illegal. Oh, Google. Pretty much. <sighs> Uh, yeah, plus... No, it's plus five damage now. Really? Oh, rage damage. No, rage damage is so plus three. You have five rages, though. You have five rages, but your rage damage is still plus three. All right, this is the uh, the finale, I, I think. So let's just get started on Storm King's it's Thunder. So it's been, what, seven years now playing this yep. thing? Just about. And with we lost three souls during this endeavor. But we got one extra one over here. <laughs> That's true, we got a bonus soul. Yeah. <laughs> one year we did We just keep birthing out extra players. <laughs> we lost Ryan in the first few weeks. Yep, he moved to Utah. And then we got Alyssa, and then we lost her, and then we lost during during the lockdown, we lost Jeff. Oh, Jeff. Okay. I don't know what happened to that. <laughs> Jeff, well, Jeff I mean, Jeff, like a, well, I know what happened. I mean, it's been a rough. Miss you, Alyssa. It's been a Jeff can come back as a final villain. Yeah, back a thousand pawn. Hopefully, Alyssa's getting something happening with her work. Jeff, if you're listening, I cast guidance on you. <laughs> All righty, you guys are in the uh, the uh, Storm King, Storm Giants. What's this place called? It's. Um, The Maelstrom. The Maelstrom. You're in the Maelstrom. And we lose Rob. <laughs> oh, Griffin. No, I'm still, I just hit the wrong button. Uh-oh. Right, everyone's out of the wrong spots. Let me move you guys around. Might I break everything? I, I, I didn't even fix it initially. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right. King Hegaton is back. You guys are all back at the Maelstrom. Everyone is gathered. What do you know? There's... Oh, no, 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 no. Imrods, we must, you know, they're, 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 you know the, the plot to, to disru- disrupt the giants, the Orgnog. And everyone is arguing and, um, uh, you know, war against the dragons. You know, and we must do something about this. So any of you want to say anything or do you or you want to wait to hear what <laughs> Hecaton finally speaks as he's sitting there doing this kind of a thing? And, and Queen Neri is waiting patiently for him to say something. The sisters are all, or the daughters are all, well, Sarissa handled things while he was gone. And of course, the other two are very uh, spoiled looking and impatient and, uh, you know, this is none of, you know, they don't care. Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess we could just say, we are pleased to see you back on your throne, my king. That's nice, right? Okay. No one heard you. All right. So, <laughs> um, Uther comes up and he says, We must declare war upon the dragons. We must gather the forces. And uh, Hegaton looks at queen, the queen and he stands up and they finally are all quiet. And he says, 
you know, I have, uh, for too long, I have been sleeping. Amon the All-Father has punished me. He has allowed these conspiracies, uh, these conspiring enemies all around us. We giants have remained quiet, and I have kept everyone quiet for the world of men and elves and dwarves have been growing, and I have allowed it. Amon the All-Father has put me in a stupor. Even when my queen was taken, mm. I was easily trapped and fooled. Amon is angry with me. Right, storm giants of the giants have done little in this world. Choosing to hide in our own layers, holes, hiding from the world. Now that the Ordnung is broken, the giants are doing what they will. We cannot openly war on the dragons. It will destroy the land, all the land of men, if we openly war. But but Imroth must pay the price. She must. You know, what do you mean? What do you propose? What are you getting? We must go quickly. We must go quickly now. But, you know, the storm giants all step forward. And he goes, no. They, those, it's the world of men. And he looks at you guys. You all are the giant slayers. You all are the ones who have stopped this and who have accomplished what none of my giants could. No the dragons. I will go with you and we will stop him, Rod. And, of course, uh, Sarissa's pissed. And she's, what about we, the storm giants, we will deal with it. And he says... You may yet deal with it if we fail. Ooh. Summon the giants, start a war against the dragons, but only if we fail. We, I will take us those humans, those giant slayers who now will become dragon slayers. I will take them, and we will go. If we are small, then the rest of the dragons out there, the ancient ones, will not awaken. But if we fail, so be it. It will be a war of giants and dragons. Worry not. We will not fail. Queen Neri is, you know, beside herself. Um, you know, these, these, these two are saying snide remarks like, I want Imrat's head. She betra- she tricked us. I don't like it. You know, she was, they're saying stuff like that. Well, I want her crown. Or, I want her jewels. You know, stuff like that. But the storm giants are upset. But they're like, we will gather the forces. We will... F- we will conscript all the giants. And he goes, I'm sure you will. But until then, I, King Ekaton, will prove to Alvan, the Allfather, that I am worthy of a giant to fight dragons. Yes. And of course, you all, um, you know, Harshnag comes up, you know, oh, I'm going, I'm going to fight too. I'm sure that you can take me. And of course, uh, uh, Hecaton says, Hoshnag, you have been out in the world of men. You have been doing great deeds amongst them. Surely you, w- you will be allowed to come. Nice. You see Farag, uh, he kind of backs off like he doesn't want to go. Like, eh, I'm going to go there. Hmm. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Raziak, it's time for you to inspire Furbog. Furbog. I hold up my mace. You have my mace! Light shines out through the whole <laughs> audience chamber. Yeah, and then I'll, I'll do the same with my tentacle rod. Like it'll rise up around my head and whip <laughs> around the air. Like shoo, 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 shoo. Rod, okay, that's disgusting. Rod. rod. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, can I ask King Hecaton a question? Oh, great king. What will you do with? The god Slarkrathel, who has conspired with Vingrath to bring down the Ordning. Slarkrathel is not my concern. Imrath is the one who I knew plotted this out. Slarkrathel will take any opportunity with anyone. Mm. He was not, <laughs> it was not his mind, but hers that plotted this all out. However, 
Mm. You're certainly free to do what you wish with it, Slagrathel. Mm. Yes. He's been in the sea a long time and has been very ineffective. It was with Imratha that made him accomplish what he had, had been yes. accomplishing across the land. I will deal with Slagrathel, my king. I and help see. you with Imrath. Well, that's for another story. Yes. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> we will need only a few more to come with us. And no more. Anyone else? <clears throat> Me. Anyone else? Sure. George is gone. <laughs> well, yeah, you four are going. And Turling! Turling, I request your presence. For my bow would feel much stronger with you at its side. See him walk up. Hmm. I suppose I should have. After all, what? my happy village of Goldenfields was attacked. I will come. If it means the fall of me, no matter. Golden Fields must know we are of this world. Don't worry, Turling. I'll keep you safe. And we'll kind of we'll kind of just hang out in the back. <laughs> uh, I point at Farouk and I say, it's time to avenge your brother. Test your fire with mine against Imrath. But you're the ones who killed my brother. Nah, that's a minor detail. <laughs> Now roll your persuasion. Okay. <laughs> One. <laughs> yeah. He's like, perhaps I could kill this one, these ones for. You, know. <laughs> you can kill us once Imrath is dead. And, yeah, and that's what Hecon says. That sounds fair to me, Fingrog. There shall be no bloodshed here. Huh. Well, then I better keep an eye on this little theory one. So yes. he's gonna uh, have a hatred for you. That's fair. But I, I did I did burn his brother alive. <laughs> <laughs> but you can still pro control now for now until I say otherwise. Okay. Yeah. Until I roll otherwise. Until I like five hit points. You're like, he, he has my control now. <laughs> <laughs> He hits you. That's kind of cool because he is evil. Exactly. <laughs> he doesn't look like a good guy. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so, they're, you know, oh, you know, we will, we will, we will uh, gather the armies, and you know, so they're talking about that, and uh, you know, and everyone's kind of splitting off, and you know, going to go do whatever they're going to go do, and um, the uh, Hecaton says, "We will, before we leave, we will leave in the morning." Tonight we will eat our last meal, and also I will give you gifts. Gifts Ooh. from the storm giants. Ooh. The Ooh. easiest ones are for the little gnome, I hear. She has a belt. Of great, she is of great strength, I hear, of giant strength. Then perhaps she could be of a service to me of having the strength of a storm giant. Oh! Nice. That's great. <laughs> yeah, take it. All right, so they provide you with what you need for your belt. Nice. Thank so, you so much, Storm Giants. Yeah, you're welcome for accomplishing what my giants could not. Um, for you, the one who throws, ja who flings javelins around in your bow, when your turling's bow. I have three bolts here. Go on. <laughs> they they will sh they are they look small your, your size now, but once shot, they will grow to the size of a giant's javelin. Wow! And they are of lightning. So bolts of the giants, or the bolts of the storm giants. They're the arrow arrows, right? Yeah, they're arrow arrows. Three of them.
They're plus three. It's awesome. Three D eight and three D eight lightning. Ooh. Wait, three D eight plus three D eight lightning and three D eight lightning. Yeah. So it does sixty eight total. Yeah. Oh my god. You are thirteen level. I don't even know how to write all that down. That's awesome. That's pretty good, buddy. Three of them. Uh, for for the fiery one, <laughs> I have no idea what you want. <laughs> I just want to burn down Imrith alive. Uh, well, yes. Take this then. Mm. Potion of valor. Ooh. It'll give you um. Your hit, your con bonus. Yep. Per your level of false hit points. Oh, cool. So they'll take that and uh, an inspiration point. Ooh. It's How a, long does it last it's a for? Twenty-four hours. Awesome. Um, it'll give you an inspiration point. And what else? And a resistance to lightning. Nice. Ooh. That you're going up against. Nice. Simra. I already have resistance against lightning. Oh, you do? Yeah. Uh, I can take resistance against thunder. In case there's thunder damage. It'll just, you know what? It'll just give you a one legendary save. Then. Woo! That's awesome. I'll take it. Thank you. Thank you, Storm King. For you! Strange. Well, not so strange. Stereotypical tiefling warlock. Tiefling warlock is hilarious. What do you desire? What do you wish for? Oh gosh. Um. Uh. Uh. Well, I wish for more power. <laughs> I wish I could summon more power from my patron to cast spells. I don't know. That's what I want, but... Yes, that's Lockworth. Well, I'll give you a scroll then of a... of a of magic rejuvenation. Ooh. It will rejuvenate you... Um, uh, oh, you have... What do you have? Like, three fifth levels? I have three you... fifth level spell slots. Okay, so it'll rejuvenate you... Two, two of them. Two fiddle oh. spells. That's awesome. We'll definitely need it. <laughs> nah. <laughs> That's a great gift, O King. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Sorry, it it's like this is gonna be a tough fight. Sorry, it's so big. I didn't realize it'd be the size of a huge blanket for you. I'll just wrap it like a kimono. <laughs> um. Remember this, though. I don't. There will be no quarter given, no surrender. When we go, this is it. We live or die. Agreed. Die to live. Now let me warn you. Oh, this is it. We live or die. There is no niceties. <laughs> mm. There is no mercy. Am I getting through to you? There will also be no problem. <laughs> this is seriously it, guys. No quarter given. Uh, and there will be no mercy for Amrath. Roll your... Now, you guys can do a little bit of... Um, or roll your insight off. Or you can just tell me... So we got a few hours before you go you have dinner and go to bed and then wake up and go. So is there anything you want to do preparatory-wise? Uh, yeah, I, I want to summon my uh, planar ally. Now? Well, it lasts for however long I need it for. Oh. Oh, shoot. Did I bring that in? I don't know if I brought it in. I, I do have it, though. That's. Are you raising your hand there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do something too. Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, hold on a second. Let me see. Uh, <clears throat> you gave me the 
Phoenix, right? Yep. So you have all the stats ready? Because I don't have it. Yeah, I got it all ready to go. I got all the macros loaded. Cool. Oh, wow. <laughs> really? That's what you're yeah. working on? Yeah. That's hilarious. But you have to kind of persuade it too, right? Um, it says that it's already it comes already loyal to me. I just have to pay it. Pay it? I thought yeah. you had to persuade it. You no, should? I have to pay it. It comes already loyal. I just have to pay it. Well, it's loyal, but you have to persuade it to do it. Now that you pay paying it, it's not a guarantee. That's that's the way you try to persuade it is with paying. It. Okay. So we need to reread that. Uh, no, I mean I'm just that's the way that I read it. That's the way you read it. Well, you read it wrong. What well, is called an ally? <laughs> no, that yeah, I, I agree with that. Sure. Uh, what, but what it does? What it, what it's willing to do? Right, right. Is it, yeah, uh, I mean, I still still like I have to still bargain with it. Yeah. So, well, I don't know if that'll come here. Um, it's a little wet, you know. Yeah. Anyway, there's your little guy. Let me um. Oh. Uh, I don't even, actually, you don't even need it here. I can I could do a religion roll. Uh, to do what? Oh, to try to get yeah. it to serve you. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, great, Kosuth! Send me your most powerful emissary. And then I'm gonna roll religion. Uh, thirteen. <laughs> Sad. Let me take this out and get a little method, a little fire method. Okay. <laughs> Oh, oh no! Little magman. <laughs> oh no! Well, so you got to persuade it now to. It's okay. gonna. It's obviously your ally. It's gonna do something, but whether it yeah, actually, whether it actually jumps into the fight or not, I don't know. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna say, a oh, great, powerful phoenix, aid us in this battle to come to vanquish right. this evil foe, this Imrath, this this foul worm. Primarily, it attacks. Right? Does it have any other? It has, well, it has, uh, yeah, it has, it can cast spells. It has basically one melee attack, and it has one recharge ability, and they can cast basic spells. One recharge ability? What's that? It's like a supernova attack. It, it's the same damage as its physical attack, it's just an AoE. Just recharge, like, you have to roll five or six to see if it's available that turn. Okay, because of your religion roll, it'll, it'll do everything? But it only will go to half hit points, and then it it'll retreat. Okay. Unless you can persuade it in the middle of the battle. Okay. Otherwise. That's fair. Um, so as I turn to my allies and I say, "You know me as Raziak Firebeard. Now say hello to Raziak Firebird." <laughs> oh God, no, that's awesome. Uh, I didn't know you was Firebeard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Raziak yeah. Firebeard. Was oh, that your? Oh, that your last name? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, know, I, know I have Raziac the Fury. I don't know. Yeah, that's cool too. I think I must have made that up. Or something. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Not not the Fury. Yeah. yeah. Anyone else? Okay, Amanta. Yeah. Okay. So I leveled up to level thirteen, and I got a spell. I replaced my telekinesis spell with a new spell called Dream. We talked about this, Ron, but this is the time to use it. So I'm going to use this spell which I put in the chat. And basically, just before we go to sleep, I'm gonna slip into a trance and I'm going to invade the dreams of Imrath. So I know her because we already I met. Remember much, she's a dragon. Yeah, that's that's fine. It's, this, the, the great thing about dream spell is it, 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 it affects any creature. Um, they don't have to, like, even if they're in they to charm or whatever, it doesn't matter. There's, it still affects them. Um, because it's, it's a cool spell. So it's, uh, it's basically, I, I can appear in her dreams, and I can, make my, I can make myself appear monstrous and terrifying to the target. And, <clears throat> and if, if, uh, if she, she can make a, if I do so, so basically this spell, I can either give her a message in my dreams or make, the, make her, um, I can give birth to the target in, in, in her dreams, or I can make myself terrifying and monstrous and give her one message of ten words or less. And if I do that, she has to make the wisdom saving throw. 
but she still gets the message. So my message to her is this, <clears throat> and I, I don't want to like make myself appear like a, like a, just, I'm just made of tentacles. Like I'm a, I'm a rising out of the foundation of her dreams into her dreams and she just is dreaming of tentacles wrapping all around and I want to say <clears throat> you I want to say I want to say you have failed and now you will be punished I send my servant to destroy you be afraid of her. This is from Sarkrathal, by the way. Okay. That's what I want to say. Alrighty. Yeah. Um, so you enter her dream. Um, hmm, let me see if she can do anything against you. Just because I would love to see you could blast it away. <laughs> um, but it, yeah. But before so. we go to sleep, uh, Ron, can I make a hero's feast for everybody? Just the spell. Um, yeah, what, what does that do? It just gives everyone uh, bonus hit points. Oh, okay. Feast. Okay. <clears throat> um, let's do. I'm gonna do your dream thing in a sec. Yeah. So do the feast. Say so, so. That's for like the next day or what? It it's for uh, 24 hours. Okay. That's fine. So, so you, everybody gets yeah. It's my oh that's it's 2d10 plus it's either my level or my uh, nope just 2d10. So everyone gets 11 hit points. Now the thing with these ones though are different, um, they're not temporary hit points, so the way they get around that is um, that your actual hit point level increases, and and then you get healed to that point for 24 hours, meaning that like if you got extra temporary hit points, it would go on top of that. You all get that? Yeah, no? Yeah. So it's Wait, not temporary hit points. Well it raises your maximum hit points 11. And then heals for, you for hours. eleven at the same. Yeah, and heals you for eleven at the same time. You tell Leela to I knock know, it off. She's going. She's so excited for this battle. That sounds like Imrath. <laughs> so, so I should just raise my maximum HP eleven. Yeah, for for this combat. Look at little it, huggy wuggy Leela. Right. Babies are so huggy wuggy. Just hug them. And oh, hug she's them. a little teddy bear. <laughs> Anything else besides the dream? Uh, I'm gonna cast dream again. <laughs> Wait, why? Have... Well, I want to appear in Slarkrathel's dreams too. <laughs> and when I want to appear in Slarkrathel's dreams, I want to appear the beat. I want to appear the, like all he dreams of is the beating of huge blue dragon wings, like just wrapping, like beating around his his head and his body. And he hears, you have failed me. I'm cutting you out of our deal and will destroy you once I have control of the ordering. This is Imrath. And then I... Um, <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to sow some dissension here, guys, in case it's useful. Okay, um, anything else? George? Gibby? Does Gibby got What's her up? giant, storm giant strength set up? I yep. Think, yeah. Okay. Anything exciting? George, you want to do anything? Gibby? You guys are ready now, to go? Me and George and Turling are just talking about some strategies right now. <laughs> okay, so what do you say to him? 
Uh, well, you know, we're just figuring each other out, you know. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what he can do. He's, you know, I'm, I'm teaching him quite a lot. Nice, nice bow. Come on. Mm. I see it has grown. Yes, it has. It is the strongest bow I've ever used. You know, if you plant it, it may grow into a, a trent and walk away. <laughs> well, I wouldn't <laughs> want that. Do you have enough healing? Uh, yes. Okay. And I'll just throw these acorns away. <laughs> just kidding. Well, if you have more acorns. Ah! You can only take so many in a day. <laughs> so, Harshtank, uh, Goes up to little Gibby. So little gnome! Uh, I guess you're stronger than me. <laughs> and your axe looks uh, a little more deadly than mine. Wanna trade? <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. Little nervous. What? Little nervous. Little nervous. <laughs> this could be it. There may be no mercy on coming from the other side once we reach there. Do your best, and I will back you up. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take you back to you. I'm a little nervous, too. <laughs> Actually, I'm big nervous. You're a little nervous. <laughs> I'm giant nervous. Um, the dream. Okay. Oh, let me go get a little bit more coffee. I'll be right back. Okay. I just want to get I'm kind of drinking up my coffee here. It's so cold now in LA. It's crazy. What do you think of my dream, George? What's going on? What do you think of my dream I gave? It, it's so cold in the deep. You ever see that music video? No. It's so cold in the deep. Probably found the weird things in internet. It's like this obscure amateur rap video made in Detroit like 15 years ago. Yeah. It's, that's really catchy. It's so cold in the deep. It was like featured on Beavis and Butthead. Oh, yeah. It's cold there, though? As soon as the sun goes down, it gets, drops like 10 degrees. Yeah. Hey, I... It's so cold in the deep. You're so cold in the deep. I don't know the whole song. That's all. That's the whole song. It's so cold. Uh, this is what it. It's so cold in the deep. How the fuck we supposed to keep peace? Oh wait, I'm just going to edit that out. Are we gonna sleep? Here, I'll play it. Kid. Okay. Oh, it's so cold in the deep. Oh, that's the song. Love it. <laughs> That's the song. Well, she screams to it or something? No, I was trying to. He, or Sam was like, it's so cold here. And I started singing this like obscure rap song from the internet from like 20 years ago. It's About being so cold. cold. Oh. <laughs> All right. Okay, the dream. You hear this baby yeah. doing like its thing. <laughs> <laughs> no. The dream. Um. So you're in this desert as you standing there looking around for Imrethel. And uh, there's ruins, and it's all hazy though, because you're in a dream. And um, 
you then see like a big mound of blue just sort of there and it's obviously Imrod sleeping and there's lightning in the distance clouds dark clouds and stuff and you're standing there and um, you see her she is in the, definitely in an uneasy sleep mm. you know you can tell she's fretting something she's waiting fretting fretting over something or grumbling I mean she's massive compared to any dragon you've ever seen and um, what do you do now again if you can repeat the so I, I in my dream I make myself monstrous and terrifying by having all these tentacles sort of rise Sagrata! Yeah. Oh, oh, and then I say, I say, um, um, I say, <clears throat> I, uh, you have failed me, Imrath, and I have sent my servant to destroy you. Watch. No, oh, uh, uh, yes, uh, uh, tomorrow you will die. All right, I'm gonna roll. I guess I'm gonna try to do all my rolls so you can see them. Uh, and you can roll your. So you're in this dream. I don't know if you want to roll performance or you want to roll like perception or religion. Like, what do you want to? What do you want to get out of this? Um. Well, I mean, it's up to you. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, like you're trying to. Performance? You're trying to unnerve her? No, the spell, the spell doesn't say that I, I have to roll or anything. If you want me to, I, I will. I do because I just want to know the, like, yeah, yeah. I just want to know, I'll, like, the, 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 the level of, of that. Yeah, yeah. Sure, I'll roll, uh, I'll roll deception. How's that? Okay. That's fine. Yeah, because I'm, dece I'm deceiving her in the dream. So <sighs> roll your deception. 26. 26. I'll take the, the one instead. Nope. <laughs> what is it? What does she have to roll for a save? My DC is 18 now. Uh, what is it? Wisdom? Yeah. Okay. So she, um. Slagrethal! You are a servant of Slagrethal! You are a dead betrayer of Slakrath. You come into my dreams. You see lightning flash out of you. Um, and you just, you know, you get yeah, she you get thrown out of her dream. Okay. I'm gonna give you one more roll. Any skill you want before you get zapped out. You tell me what. I'm gonna let you decide. Like you're, remember, you're you're in her head, so. Yeah, I'll do deception again because I, this is the whole the whole I think the whole point of the dream is like I'm like no. But what is your intent of deceiving her? What are you trying? What are you trying to get her to believe? I'm trying to because because the, the way this has been set up, right, is that is that she and Slarkrathel are working together uh, to sort of undercut the ordning. You know what I mean? So I want to sow, sow dissension between her and Slide Bell okay. if that ever helps, and and make her and make her like maybe make her afraid of like what might be coming. You know, like I know she's probably immune to fear as a dragon, but like you know, not the fear, fear, but like the inner, like inner heart, like maybe, maybe like I'm not eternal. Maybe like life is more meaningless than I thought it was. <laughs> you know, like that kind of fear, like okay. the on me. You know. All right. Roll it. And 14. Woohoo! Oh, wow. That's good. Okay. You get thrown out. Ah! Okay. I'm not going to deal with the Snark Retha one just yet. That one's post. Post. Besides, he can save anyway, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Everyone ready? Yeah. We ready. Um, this one? 
Everyone getting their armor on? Yeah. Their... Yep. <laughs> buckles. Getting my buckles on. Shining things. Loaded. Braiding their hair. Whatever you gotta Making do. Sure my dragon scale armor is clasped tight. <laughs> okay. Everyone knows all their potion spells. Yeah. Nuts. So you get any sausages? <laughs> oh, no, I'm out. I'm Actually, do I have any more sausages? Wait, I think I may have. Uh, oh no, I have. Uh, no, don't have any more sausages. Oh well. Uh, I have dust of fortitude. That's um, probably a good idea. Go. I have dust of fortitude too. Actually, how, yeah, how early? Really, how early can I? Like, can we use it now? Or yeah, if you want to just use it, that's fine by me. I'll use it. I have dust of fortitude uh, too. One of them. Turling pulls out a little wrap of sausages. What do they do? I forgot. The sausages? Yeah. Um, I think they just get rid of like a level of exhaustion. Oh no, that was the that was something else. Well, like might something else. Maybe the sausages gave you like temporary. Twenty-four false life. Twenty-four false life. There you go. All right, everyone gets one of those. Okay, so guys, <laughs> how much is it? Actually, I'll take 24. two sausages. Two breakfast sausages. Here you go. And so we. So I'm 24. gonna roll two. I'm gonna roll. I got a five. I got a five. <laughs> we all gotta roll two d four. Yeah. False life. Aww. Hey, we're I got a five. Oh my god, we're all getting ones and fours only. <laughs> roll one d five. Roll twenty is broken, guys. Can I roll three. I roll three, Abby. Oh. Uh, that's the forty-two. Oh Give my you guys eight. Double four. Maximum eight temporary plus your eleven. I have so many hit points. Remember, I gave you. Are we ready? Here we go. Hey, Bobby. Robbie, do you have healing word still? So. <laughs> uh, I do. Why? Just in case anyone dies. <laughs> oh, and remember, everybody, remember, everyone I except got better for Gabby, spells than that. Everyone healing except spells. for Gabby. Everyone except for Gabby has written their name in blood in my in my tome, and so the first person who gets the zero hit points actually. My, the, the name in my tome will burn, and they actually go to one hit point instead. Damn, I can't put my name in there. It's against my religion. Okay, well, if you don't want to, then you don't have to. Wait, it's against my religion too, then, because uh, George is now a follower of Joseph. Oops. Well, then it doesn't make any sense. Okay, fine, I'll do it. <laughs> That's fine with me. <laughs> Here we go. You guys can die, and I'll retain the thing. <laughs> Be very afraid. This is it, people. Oh, hey, no. what's the world of sharpness do? I'm using that. Sorry. I'm using yeah, that plus one to it. your well, weapon. Or, uh, what would we say, like, oh, three arrows yeah. or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah give me still has an oil of sharpness. Guys, I also have two That's potions of damage. That's not going to help work Hammer. Guys, I, I also have two potions of damage resistance that I've been saving for this moment. Who wants one? I have. Uh, I already have. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't drank mine yet. From the last one. How long do those last? I'm gonna say. Um, I'm gonna say for a decent. Okay. I'm gonna say actually for a decent combat. But at some point, I'm gonna say it's run out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna take mine before the combat. So you may want to keep uh, both of yours, Amantha, because you may need the second one. I'm gonna yeah, do that for yeah. all your stuff, like your dust of fortitude, because this actually this yeah, is gonna yeah. be pretty long. These combats, I think. Well, I don't know. I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna. Ta I'm just gonna take take my. I'm gonna ready my my potion of damage resistance and take it before just before we end in combat. Well, so, if you uh, take one now, that's fine by me, and that'll last for the, yeah, yeah. the first part. Okay. Because I'm not gonna worry about that. Yeah. I and mean, what does it do? It's resistance to I'm bludgeoning, like, slashing, and piercing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. From non-magical means. Excuse me. I don't mind. I don't mind it against magical weapons as well. Just not like uh, the fireballs, and lightning, and all that. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. It's, it's anything physical that attacks you, magical or not. That's, that's good. Yeah. Voila. Like rage, I guess. <clears throat> okay. We ready? Yes. Yep. 
Here we go! Everyone come by the fountain! Really good one, you guys. Hello! Oh wait, are we gonna, are we, uh, can I ask him, are we teleporting directly into battle, or are we... We're teleporting close. So, do, can I just have an hour then, uh, real quick? I want to cast uh, a, 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 rich, a, a ritual. Sorry, I thought we were, I thought we were really? gonna walking there. I just uh, had my breakfast, I'm ready, my coffee, and I'm ready to fight! Well, I just want to cast, <laughs> this is, this is gonna be fun. I just want to, <laughs> I want to cast... Uh, I want to cast uh, Phantom Steed and Unseen Servant and have my Unseen Servant ride my Phantom Steed. They do what? They don't do anything. It's just fun to cast my Ritual Spell. I have never cast them. Alright, let's go! <laughs> Shut up! Shut up, you stupid, stereotypical war warlock tiefling. <laughs> and then I'm also going to cast... I'm also going to do one last thing, sorry. I'm going to take out from my pocket... I'm like, oh, I forgot about this. And I'm going to read. I'm like, what does this say? I'm going to read a scroll. And all of a sudden, a shadow demon appears before me. Named Zeek. And I say, hello, Zeekast. Do you have a demon with you? You summon a demon? Shadow demon, yeah. And you, got, you know the name so you can control it forever? Or how yeah. Yeah, Zgath East. They have, he has disadvantage on his charisma checks, basically. And how long? Okay, so we'll we'll get to. Let's just get to the next place. It's a, it's a, it's a, it, it lasts for an hour, so I'm only going to do it if we're if we're like less than an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You're Slayer! Whoa! Oh, make sure everybody's got the right. Okay. Now make sure you can control your units, including your. Oh, I, now I'm gonna cast. Oops. Uh, I think two of them? Now I'm gonna cast. Uh, uh oh. What the heck? Oh, oh. What the oh, heck? Oh, yes. Thrilling army! <laughs> What the Let's heck? Go. Hold on. Now, I don't know why that. I'm gonna cast. I'm gonna cast Rary's telepathic bond. So that everyone March of the trees. Oh wait, why is there two of me? Oh, what is happening? Oh, okay. <laughs> Hold on, stop. don't move anything. Let me delete out the extras. I don't. Know. Stop, everybody. Let me just get you. I, I guess I must have accidentally arches. pasted you four times or something. Army of so, Georges. Yeah. So guys, now we can all communicate te telepathically, so we don't have to like. Okay. Cross. Because you guys go, just go like this. Okay, what are you guys doing over there? Oh yeah. Uh -huh. yeah it's like we have radios. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I'm gonna cast my another spell, which is instantaneous, which is called my new spell, which is called Crown of Stars. Ha ha. Ooh. That's a good. So basically, what happens is I'm gonna tell you what happens. So basically, what happens is ah. as we as we get here, I go. Oh. Out how I do it yet, but I go. Oh, the stars are obscured by the daylight, but they will come to me anyway. And all of a sudden, seven like balls of light go shoot, shoot from the heavens and like start orbiting my head. Okay, is that a spell? Like you, you know, it's not one of your fifth level spells, is it? It's it's from my Mystic Arcanum. I will show oh, yeah, you yeah, yeah. I know what it about. is. Um, it is this. So you're gonna. So you're glowing. You have a light, basically. I have seven motes of light orbiting my head right now. Thirty foot radius, dim light. Okay, so remind me of that for. Um, well, of course this phoenix outdoes that. But whatever. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how big is the phoenix? Is it just large? Um, size is large. Large monstrosity. All right, you guys can move your own dudes. You can see that this is an old um, amphitheater, giant amphitheater. You can see the whole map. And um, you're not in combat mode, so. Yeah. Oh wait, yes you are. You see, um, <laughs> you see um, moving over here are some figures and they already are turning this trebuchet. 
So let's go into combat mode. Whoa, Whoa. look at those figures. Mm. Nice. Okay, we get, we got How far away are they from us, Ron? That is what the you see on the, the screen. Trebuchet. Okay. Um. Guys, yeah. what's gonna happen? We gotta take down that trebuchet, guys. Alright, let me uh, let me start the list again. I hate how I have to redo the list. Okay, so everybody, you guys can can you add your uh, NPCs as well? Yeah. No, we can't because you, you you haven't uh, given us character sheets, Ben. Oh, it's got to be a character sheet. Okay. You have to add. Um, Where are you going there? You gotta. I can't even add uh, George. Yeah. Uh, let's just um the, the the I want each. Let's just keep this simple. They go in your turn, okay? Oh, okay, cool. Well, let's do that way. Well, can we do it? Can we do a regular initiative? And oh. More fun that way, I think. You mean with everybody? Like, well, with Hecaton and everybody, yeah, because it's like that way. Because the way the battle works, it might be crazy if like I go and then like Hecaton doesn't go for another couple turns. You know what I mean? I don't know. Whatever you want, but wait, what? I you go and Hecaton. I think it'd be same. fun. I think it'd be fun. I think if you they guys are arguing. Time. I think you guys are arguing for the same thing. I said I think it'd be better if they don't go at the same time as the. Oh, they other don't people. go at the same time. Yeah. You have all individual initiatives. But it's fine. Whatever you want to do, yeah. I, I don't. I'm fine with whatever everybody wants to do. I just thought it'd be cooler easier that way. Because that way, like people's turns will be shorter. Yeah. Like, let's see like you have yeah, more turns, but they'll be shorter. So do yeah, it exactly. individually. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Initiative is dexterity, right? Look at what we got. <laughs> I, am I missing anybody? Is twenty. Oh, there's two Amanthas here. Oh! No! We only got a nat 20! And then I just gotta get my Shadow Demon in there. Ron. Uh, yeah, you gotta roll your shift. Add, can you guys add your numbers? Yeah. Yeah. This is. Farouk has actually, I think, minus one on his uh, initiative. Can you put it in or no? Uh, I don't think I can. I'll try. I think I can. Yes, I can. Nope. Yeah? Yeah, I got it in. Uh, this is Razzie. So yeah, all around you guys is thunder and lightning. But it's like a dry st storm. Is There's no rain in it. Arshnog? Phoenix? Gibby, gotta put that little... Goober down and get into the action. Priorities. What'd you, what's your initiative? What'd you get for your initiative? For Harshnod. Did you put it in? Oh, yeah, roll for Harshnod. That's for the Phoenix. Uh, let's not have an initiative? No. Is he, or is he a barbarian? Probably not. So, what'd you roll? 11. Uh, Harshnod got 11. Well, I only have basically one unit. <laughs> I'm last. <laughs> All these I'm last. All right, George, you're sitting on top of Turlong there. Oh, Turlong got a natural twenty, by the way. It's just his dex is minus one. Oh, he did. Okay, so he can go first, and then you. Free action for um, Turlong. Uh, George is riding on top of Turlong too. Is that okay? Now. Riding the turling, riding the turling. So this is a big wall here. I'm gonna say it's uh, oh yeah, it's uh, 30 feet high. That's 30 feet high. Sorry, you behind this wall. How how tall is turling? It's 20 feet, 22. Mm -hmm. Oh, so we have to go around this thing? Turling, Turling is just going to dash. 
okay? Probably like over, like every every cut. Imagine like a little sound effect like that. <laughs> and uh, can he like drop me off on the wall? This might be a really bad idea. Uh, it's thirty feet high. I don't know if he can reach that high. Uh, roll to see if he can. Uh, okay. His athletics or your. Well, he got a five. I don't know what you want to roll, but that's probably not enough. Yeah, it's not enough for him to leap. Okay. Reach up that high. Okay, that's that's fine. I mean, if you can leap um, or fly or something. Well, I do have um, another way to get up there. You could climb, probably. Uh, What's your turn now, George? Uh, so. Yeah. Why don't I try to climb up there? As long as he can like, put his hands up, I might be able to get the last one. Like, yeah, okay. 10, Let's roll a 12 ath athletics. Natural 20! Okay. So I'll let you... I'm wasting all of my natural 20s, guys. Well, I'll let you, you know, you still get an action then. Like, you did so well. That was like a bonus action. Uh, sweet. I will shoot at the nearest bad guy. Yeah, you see them all kind of cracking out from under their covered dust and <laughs> sort of gargoyles just crack coming to oh, life. gargoyles? Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, okay. Well, I will, uh, let's see what happens. I will sharp shoot. Um, the nearest, the nearest one to me. Okay. Uh, let's see. Does a, uh, 19 hit? Yep. 15 is armor class. Okay. Uh, 29 points of damage for the first attack. Alright. And, oh my god. With the damage, I got a natural one. With the what? What? With really? the damage, I got, yeah, I got so oh my two, god. Two, two, two. I rolled two ones. With the second that's one? Five. That's one in 400 chance to get Wait, that. say that again? With the what? On my second attack. Uh -huh. I, had, I, mean, I had advantage on both sides. Just because oh, of you, got, you got double ones? Um, yeah. You got double ones. Something bad's got to happen then. Well, it's just a one. It's just a, it's just a count fall of one. Fall off the wall. But it's a one. Oh, uh, feather fall, one. though. <laughs> Actually, that's probably the best case scenario. You fall off the wall. <laughs> You're back. You're like, <laughs> All right. Raziak. How far away are these guys? Uh, the guys at the, the trebuchet? Well, they're left. behind a lot of a really good full cover. Because this okay. is a wall. And that is 30 feet high. Okay. Uh, how far How far are these blocks now? I guess that's a better question for you guys. How big are these blocks, rather? Well, the squares are 10 feet. 10 feet? Uh, okay, I got 40. I think I got 40 feet. Uh, Where's the 10 feet? Yep. Oh, the squares are only showing five feet with the ruler. Oh, is it? I don't know. If, I don't know if Turling would have been able to get up, to get that far. Really? I thought it was ten feet. What the heck? It's showing it? showing five feet per square. Where? The heck is it? Yeah, it's five feet with a ruler. Oh, with a ruler. Um, let me look at the other map because I know the other map said ten feet. So. You should say on this. What's happening in this map? Ron, you just moved Oh my god! Oh my god, don't look! <laughs> I'm not looking, I'm not looking. Oh my god, what the heck? Oh, jeez, oh, why did I do that? The squares are 10 feet, so I don't know why they're. Yeah, no, the squares are 10 feet. Because we double every okay. day that we rule. Yeah. Okay. Dang. Okay, that's easy. Oh my gosh, uh, this thing is way taller, too. 
like like it's it's forty feet up just to the base of the Coliseum thing. Um hmm. that was awesome. Yeah, it's, it's giant. It's such a cool map. It's seventy feet. The, the the wall is like seventy feet tall. No. Yeah. If you look at underneath the the word layer, you can see plus seventy. Oh. Over here? Yeah. 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 This thing's huge. Okay, so okay. yeah. Yeah, because even I, to get to the the bottom, the most bottom layer is 30 feet high. That's weird. Okay, because I'm looking at another area and just like. Yeah, I'm looking over here. You know, and that just looks like 30 feet to me. Going off the side. Yeah, but. It's 70 feet. Okay, it's 70 feet. There we go. Yeah, 70 feet. Thank you. Do I need a line of sight? So you're not up there, hit George, somehow. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, um, yeah you can't really thing. see them. You can see maybe a, a, a gargoyle up here looking. Okay. Down at you. Uh, I still won't be able to hit him, so I'm just going to use my dash to get me right to the edge then. And then I'm going to finish my turn there. Alright. Storm Giant. Hecaton. Ah, King Hecaton. King Hecaton will also use his... Dash. He, wait, he moves. We're going to get used to this, but I just want to see his movement. Speed, 50 feet. Okay, cool. So he moves 50 feet. Um, so he can move 100 feet. Or, sorry, 25 feet. That's all he can move. Oh, difficult terrain. Sandy sandiness. Sandy sandiness. So does that mean his movement is half? Halved, yeah. Sorry, you too, Rez, yeah. Okay, so, um... Moving you back a little. Okay, so... 500, uh... I'm giving this guy back his hit points. I don't think you hit him, because I didn't understand me. Yeah, that's fine. I yeah, didn't realize it was, uh, what it was. Each at a point it can see within 500 feet. Okay, so basically we can't see any of these... Around, guys. We can't see the, uh, the... We can't see the... Any of these creatures yet? We don't even know they're there. Yeah, but they won't uh, be able to hit us with those trebuchets. That's the nice. No, thing. they won't. Yeah, they can. Just run around the side. It's called magical, we'll shoot. magical trebuchets. Yeah, yeah. They can lob. Ah. Uh, well, yeah. yeah. This, this guy is doing his thing like this. But if you're, yeah. But if you're, we're on the edge there. Well, okay. So if this guy can see us. Let's say he's been spotted, then we can see him. Yeah. Right. Right. If we have if, if perception. Oh, he ran. He went back. Uh, okay. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> He's there, spotting you. He's got cover though. He's a uh, seventy-five feet high. I make that eighty feet. <laughs> yeah, eighty feet up here. Okay, so basically one hundred twenty feet. So. Okay, so basically, I'm just gonna do the distances here. Um, Great, so he's gonna move, Hecaton is gonna move uh, 20, or his, his movement, which is 25 feet, but he's, you're saying it's difficult terrain? So yeah, he can only move the sand is all. 12 feet? Here, I'm gonna fix the grid for you. 10 feet, there we go. Didn't you say his movement was like 50 feet? Yeah, but it's difficult so terrain. I'm, okay, I fixed the measuring thing. Okay, so I started here, so measuring thing works now. So he can move, he can only move this far, 50 feet. But you're saying he can only move half, so he's going to move to there. Yeah. Okay. Crunching, and then, crunching in the and then, right, so then this guy on, on the on the wall is less than 120 feet away, which is great. So he's going to, Hecaton is going to use his ballista weapon, which is a, his range of 120 feet, which is great. One target. Uh, hit is, I'll tell you what it is, attack plus six. 19 armor class. What? 17. Okay. Miss? Does that miss? 17 total? Yeah. You think I'm plus eight? Hecaton, uh, what, the, what it says is range weapon attack plus six. That's what it says under the blue. Huh? Is that not right? 
Uh, it's probably plus 16, because his other weapon is plus 16. Yeah, it's plus 16. Oh, you meant plus 16. That makes it better. <laughs> That's better. Then yeah. Then Unless this is just really bad with the range. Yeah, attack. I'm like, what? I'm like, oh, this and is good. 27 is, is okay, the, so the, hit. Shoot 27. And then it's, uh, <laughs> that's awesome. That's much better. Um, 3, 10 plus 2, so it's this. Bing, bing. 23 damage. Okay. He twirls his ballista. <laughs> Smashes that guy. It's more like a. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. More like a <laughs> he reaches up and. Shoots him. Oh, I could have used one of those bolts, George. Alright, is that it? Yeah. Turling? Uh, Turling is gonna move again. Can we say George is still riding him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <sighs> Okay, that's really interesting. It says dash too? Yeah, because of the difficult terrain. Yeah. Okay. Amanta. Amanta uh, is going to dash. I think 60 feet this way. So. Now, Ron. I forgot to tell you before this battle started, but I, I had planned on casting Dark Disc before it started, but I forgot. So, do you can just do it now? I can just do it now. It's fine. Um, no, it's fine. You can you can cast it beforehand. But that's one of your spell slots, huh? No, it's uh, my armor. My armor oh, darkness. Right. Okay. My armor of darkness. That's fine. Go ahead. And just have it ready. Okay. So. You can see that aura? Yep, I can. Okay, cool. So that's that was my dark I spell. Can see what? Okay. I was just saying I can see it. Too. You can see it too. That's awesome. That's that's the that's the plan. That's good. Um, and then, Ron, how how long does my giant eagle last? Last? The giant eagle? Yeah. Uh, a lot of eagles on there. That was. Does it say on there? It doesn't say. On my, compa on my additional sheet, I think it it says once per day for oh for eight hours. Okay, yeah, so it lasts for eight hours. So I'm gonna use my giant eagle summoning and summon the giant eagle right next to me, and then that'll be my turn. <clears throat> but you, did you do a dash? Nope, because I had to cast. The, I had to summon the giant eagle, so I, I couldn't dash. You got the stats for him? Uh, yeah. But they can't see in darkness, so. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm, just his, I'm, just, I'm just petting his head right now. Well, I can't see you. I'm petting his head. <laughs> okay. Gibby! Oh, shoot, I should have done something else. Oh, well, that's okay. <clears throat> Barely hear you. You speak up quite loud. Um, yeah. um, so I'm very proud of that. Um, I'm gonna try run and fly over to the. How is this? Wall? Yep. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. eight. Yeah. Oh, do you got fly? What's the, what's the deal? She has, those, she has those flying boots, give her 50 flying speed. Okay. Does it last a certain amount of time? Uh, 10 minutes. Okay, so she can fly 50 feet, that's no problem. Okay. So, you can, here is 60 or 50. Yeah, 50 feet, and then... So, oh, you're gonna do another 50 feet? Yeah, you might as well dash the whole thing. Just go to here. fight anybody. Yeah. Yeah, I'll let you do that, but... Can someone do my the Pythagorean theorem one for me or whatever? Uh, fifty times one point four one four. Okay, so you want to get up here? Yeah. Yeah, you can go hundred feet. Oh, okay. okay. So she had the is she at the lip of the wall? Or at the top. 
Okay, cool. Nice. Yeah. And then use your bonus action to go into rage. Right now? Yeah. Right well, then you can do it the next turn. Yeah, but then you'll have damage resistance. Okay, oh, you yeah, if you get attacked. Right now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ready for battle! Ah, okay. Ready for battle! <laughs> Phoenix? Phoenix is going to fly... Uh, she's got a movement of 90 feet, okay. so that takes her to here. Um, how far away is this guy right there? Which guy? Uh, sorry, the lookout? This one? Uh, yeah. He's too far for you. Yeah, I figured. So no, she's just gonna know. dash, yeah. That's, yeah, but that's double, so she's gonna dash no, no, no. another nine. The, the measure tape is accurate anymore. now. He changed it. Oh, so. it's, oh, it is accurate now. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Hold on a second then. So you didn't go 40. Well, I flew my Half, shoes so back here. here. So well, here. if that's accurate, then the 90s here, no? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So she's gonna fly there. That puts her in range to do. She's gonna do a guiding bolt on the uh, lookout. Yeah. So I need to do attack roll for that. Remember, you can't see them unless you. Oh, unless you get your eagle. Uh, well, she can see him. No, no, I'm sorry, I was talking about. Him. Oh yeah. Sam. Actually, I'm gonna roll for. Oh no. Yeah. Uh, twenty-three. Does it hit? Yep. Awesome. Takes da -da -da, eleven radiant damage. Wowzers! Yeah, something. She's gonna end her turn there. All right, Furig. Furig is going to run thirty feet, and he is going to throw a rock at the lookout. Nineteen armor. Okay. Get to use my macro. Uh, let's see. Footing throws and gets a 13. That's a miss, so ignore the damage. Yep. And then Furry's gonna end his turn there. Shadow Demon. Shadow Demon is going to probably dash. It's got a 30 foot movement. Um, and it's gonna dash straight at the wall. So it's gonna go. Yeah. Hoshnog! Actually, no. It's gonna go right inside my darkness. Just do it. It's in darkness. Well, that's that's gonna go. Hoshnog! Oh, and yeah, that's it. Oh. How many feet are uh, you? Hoshnog, Uh, hold on, check for you. Hoshnog. 40 feet? So you can measure with the ruler. So it's accurate now. No, it's accurate now. You can just measure it regularly. Yeah. Yep, that's 40 right there. Yep. You might as well the uh, dash it though, because you're not attacking. No dash. Like, or if you want to try to throw a rock, throw rocks. But I don't think you. I don't, no, actually, I don't think this guy in range. Which one? Yeah. Okay. Done. Yeah. Gargoyles. Alright, this thing fires 
a trebuchet and I'm going to do kind of a vague one through eight. Oops. Oh, all right, goes for Harshnog. Probably hits his armor, bouncing. And you see another one though coming from way over on the other side. Uh oh. And that one goes for. Raziak. Oh my. I mean, oh my. That's, at least that's where it lands. Bring it. it lands near you. Think. Oh my. Bonk. It's my shield. This guy just shoots right at you. Whoa. What does he look like? Gargoyle. Yeah. You ever see that, that gargoyle? cartoon Gargoyles? Yeah, yeah. You just hear a bunch of screeching and howling. You know, deep throated bats. All right, uh, this one attacks. Class? Who? Gibby? Oh, never mind. This is. Let me see how many attacks he gets. I think it's two attacks. He's attacking. He's attacking Gibby. Yeah. Oh. All right. Comes out with a claw and a bite. Oh, that's a miss. Okay. It for me, George. All right. How how far do you think curling can throw, George? Can throw? Yeah. Oh, it doesn't say on the thing. It doesn't have a throw. Uh, well, his rock. He can throw a rock sixty feet without disadvantage. Right. So, what do you? What was your question? How far could he throw, George? Oh. Um, yeah, I mean, he can, well, it's not that hard to get up here, but at disadvantage past 60 feet, you know what I mean, like, to get it, to get it right. Yeah, I mean, he would just have to get me close, and then George would probably miss his step, is kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah, or you could float down. Teleportation. Or you could float down. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, I don't... Throws you somewhere above the wall, then you float down. Yeah. I'm like forgetting all the cool stuff I have. Okay, yeah, let's try that. Okay, so it's pretty re it's pretty easy, so just roll like a. Well, I guess I have to wait for Trillian's turn. Oh, yeah. But George will hold his action. Okay. And Rapid. wait for Turlin to throw him. Right. And will he, will, will, is, is George going to ready his action so as soon as he like is in the air above the wall, shoot an arrow? Yeah, that's fine. Razziak? Uh, yep, yeah, Razziak, I'm just gonna keep running. Uh, run another 40. Oh, actually, can I, is he on, he's on full cover or what? Say it again? Actually, uh, I'm gonna, I wanna hit that guy with a sacred flame. Which guy, this guy? Yeah, the lookout. Well, he's got plus four cover. Okay, uh, I, this is, um, it's a deck save though. Oh, okay. For a sacred flame. Was it uh, he's <clears throat> got to get a 19. Failed. Okay. Uh, ooh, I can use my macro. 34 damage. Wow. Alright, that thing burns up. Oh, yeah. 
the flames of Kosuth purify you. And that's it for me. Nice, right, he's dead. Son. King Hecaton. Yes. Who can I see? This, but there's a little gnome there. I can't. See, uh, yeah, uh, but uh, you can see yeah, this one too, because it's flying over. I can see him. Yeah. Okay. Well, then, I'm, if I can see that guy, then I'm going to use my lightning strike, uh, and I'm going to hurl a magical bolt of lightning at that creature. Okay. And nice. each creature within ten feet of that point must make a DC 17 dexterity saving throw. Is that one of the? It's a recharge thing. Yeah, it's a recharge. Nope. You missed. Yep. You didn't make a saving throw. And so take this much damage, buddy. Wow. You just see a bunch of stone crack off nice. of it. Nice. Limbs and things. That's awesome. I love it. And okay. then Hecaton will run to uh, 50 feet towards. The, that's not Hecaton. Where's Hecaton? 50 feet towards the D wall. Difficult terrain, so. Yeah, oh, so we can only go 25 feet? Yeah, okay, so. He goes 25 feet directly towards the wall. Alright, Turling. Alright, Turling is going to shove George just as hard as he can into the air, trying to get yeah. him over the wall. I thought you were going to say against the wall. <laughs> not against the wall, no. Over the wall, because George will float down. That's actually nice pretty and, brilliant. Just don't roll a one. Nice and oh, I don't have a bench. I don't know why I'm rolling. Can we get on the other side, Griffin? We need to put you in the catapult. <laughs> you rolled a one? Nope, I got a two! <laughs> you, said I did, you said I just didn't have to roll a one. That's exactly what I did. Alright, so you make it right here. Hanging on. <laughs> roll your own athletics to. Roll your own athletics to get up quick, quick or slowly. Uh, roll your own athletics to have it be a bonus action or it takes an action. Oh my god. Uh, my athletics, I got an eight. Total eight? Oh man, that took an action. That, well, that took a move then. I'll, I'll let you have an action. Uh, okay, I'm going to shoot at this one that got destroyed by headphones light. With, uh, Don't you want to save Gibby from this one? She'll be fine. <laughs> I want to make sure she has something to attack. Yeah, she needs to keep her rage. <laughs> um, with a sharpshooter. Uh, does it un unnet? So does it dirty twenty hit? Yeah, it's fifteen armor guns. I think it's dead. Uh, I've got a 10, 20, 30. 30 damage. Just shattering, just explodes. The rocks crumbles, comes crumbling down. Alright, Amantha? Or Turling, is that hop. it for Turling? Oh. He can move. Uh, right? yeah, Turling's gonna move. Uh, well, Turling already threw Joy, but this is, this is just a question, uh, maybe for next turn, because Turling already did something. But he's got a spell Plant Grove. Well, Okay, but before I get too complicated with my idea, I just want to know if Turling can climb the wall. No. Okay. Not so easy. can he use can he use the spell plant growth to make vines grow along the wall, <laughs> and then he can climb the vine? Uh, if, okay, if you want him to do that, sure. It's gonna take him like a round or two to get up there. Yeah, okay. I mean, Typical it's gonna take him a round or two yeah, to, to go around anyway. So. Okay, Amanta. Amantha will, uh, the first thing she does is she sees that gargoyle next to Gibby and goes, Come to me, my sweetie! And casts Agonizing Boat Blast at him. It. Him. Oh. 14. Miss. And she does it again. Second agonizing blast. Twenty-six. Okay. And that is a eight force damage, but also pulls him towards her ten feet. 
And does he fall? He flies. Oh, they fly. <laughs> They're gargoyles. They got wings. No, oh, that's annoying. Okay. Um, that's a good point. <laughs> Well, we're learning things as we go. Um, okay, and then uh, so then she's going to hop on the eagle and fly herself. <laughs> um, she's going to fly 60 feet this way. Sorry, 80. Wait, oh no. Oh, sorry, the eagle is next to her. So he shops an eagle and flies 60 feet here. Whoop, whoop. On top of the eagle. Hi, Turling. And when she gets there, she's going to shoot an, her last agonizing blast at the guy. Oh, she can't actually quite reach him yet. I guess the eagle flies 80 feet, so. Um, well, I can't fly anymore. I think I'm going to uh, shoot. Sorry, shoot the last agonizing blast at this guy here, uh, sort of near the trebuchet. Okay. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying to do my all cool agonizing blast stuff. Oh, uh, by the way, as she pa as she passes the uh, as she passes the other guy, she does agonizing blast before. She uses her bonus action to um, shoot him with a tentacle rod. This guy. Yeah, the guy I had just agonizing blast before. Yeah, she gets a twenty-one. Is that right? Yeah, it is. Okay. And then she hits him for. 11 for legending damage, and he's got to do a dexterity 18 or else get disadvantage in his attack. 11 bludgeoning. Yep, okay. So he's got disadvantage, and then she's going to do her last agonizing blast on that guy down there. Um, And misses. Okay, great. And then the eagle is going to use his, his last bit of movement to dive down below this this uh, relation, so it's out of the way reach of the ballista. You can't yeah. hover. It's got to keep flying. Well, I mean, yeah, I don't know how exactly you want to make that. You can just go down um, below the wall. Yeah, that's, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah he's going down, down below the wall. So, so he like he goes up. Yeah, you're fine. He around the it. wall. She shoots her agonizing glass, and he dives down. Yeah, that's fine. Amanda. I mean, uh, sorry, Gibby. Okay. You can get this guy. Oh, you can get the other guy. There's another guy there. Or you can get this guy. Here, zoom in. You're like, you're like a speck on there. <laughs> He's like zoomed out 200%. <laughs> yeah, get that guy. Okay. okay, I'm on range. I'm gonna do Frenzy and Rockless. On uh, this one? On that one, yeah. I'm gonna use my great, great, great master. <laughs> master. Every time she says great weapon master, and I, I'm like, oh, great. <laughs> great. <laughs> Uh, what's How his much is That's a plus. That's 15 yeah, armor class. She got 25. Uh, that's one. Um, Pretty much hacked off its wings or whatever. It's, you're just like tearing, yeah. you know, stone, you know. Like she clay. Hit for 20, 21? Yeah. 15 armor yeah. class. Yeah. Well, she hacked up his wings in the fall. Oh. <laughs> you see his shit. You can move now if you want. It's dead. I'm gonna go get something else. Uh, How much can you move? Oh, you can move. Uh, uh, I can. 50 flying. Yeah. I, I have 60. Plus your, plus your cape. 60 feet? 
Okay. We, we know what time. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, no, no, you're fine. Yeah, fine. 60 feet, yeah. Super, super gnome. Super gnome. The other days. Oh, I think that's a miss. Uh, 18? 18 to hit? Yeah. Or 19 to hit, sorry. Yeah. yeah. So you're flying in your wet boots of leaping? 32 damage. Okay. Okay. Wow. That's it for me. Alright, Phoenix. Phoenix. Alright. Phoenix, Phoenix is going to fly right in between these two guys and do her supernova attack. Okay. So they need to save a DC uh, dex. Uh, it's not too high. It's pretty reasonable. Um, Top one. DC dex uh, 16. Fail. Or take half damage. Fail and... So see. Okay. This is a huge attack, by the way. Yeah. 2d8. What? Nope. 20? 26 and 20. So it takes 46 damage. Radiant damage and fire. Oh, 26 and... Oh, 46. Okay. Yeah. So this one failed. And then this one... Alright. We're still alive, but... You know, pretty damaged. Nice. Lift up. Thierog? Uh, or do you move? Yeah, uh, yeah uh, no, I'm gonna leave it there. Uh, Ferg's gonna keep running. He's gonna dash this time. We'll take 60. Uh, Shadow Demon? Shadow Demon. Zergurgi? Yeah, Zergurgi. He's going to uh, dash um, along the wall. Um, he's, he can fly, so he's flying, so he's not hindered by the movement. Um, yep. And he's going to dash 60 feet down here. So he's like hugging the bottom of the wall, like just sort of skimming along the ground. <laughs> he'll take his bonus action. Um, Hide hit the shadows at the base of the wall. Okay. Which is uh, which is he's he's really good at hiding this guy. Do um, I get to save or whatever? How does that work again? So the way hiding works, I not hiding quite a bit. Not hiding. The the, the demon control. What do you mean? The demon oh, control. Yeah. So at at the end of each turn, he uh, he gets to roll a saving throw. So, um, first of all, his hide is going to be. An 11. I'm not worried about the I'm sorry. 13. Okay, so yeah, he gets to roll. Uh, so because I know his name, he rolls it with disadvantage. So it's been one. Ro this is the second turn, or so the, almost the twice. end of the second turn. So the end of the first turn, we got to save? Yeah, he should have saved. Uh, no, yeah. End of the, end of the disadvantage, so three. Okay. So I'm going to do it every time. It's, uh, this is the next one. Oh, okay. Uh, so, oops. nine or what does he need to save? Eighteen. Yeah, well, he failed. Okay. okay. So, Harshnog. Uh, I'm going to jump and jump the wall. Or? No, he can't jump the wall. I don't jump walls. Uh, climb it though. So you climbing. want to go and climb? I think I'll, I'll go, go around. <laughs> <laughs> you can come with Raz. He's in heavy plates. He's in heavy plates. Yeah. Come with me and throw it. We're going around the other side. Okay. Okay. Alright. You gotta move him? Uh, right, they're all like, okay, all these gargoyles down here are screeching. Everyone's oh. screeching. Uh, let's see. Let me get some measurements going here. Okay. Measurements! <clears throat> that one gets up there. Ran 
reinforce, reinforce, coming in. They all swarm, Gibby. Give it to him. They're flying in. Gibby? Oh, no, Gibby. with Gibby. Uh, I'm going to do the trebuchet first. This trebuchet... Oh, no. They, get, they take some another turn. So they're pretty weak anyway. Okay, so this here. Here we go on Gibby. Ah, yeah. Alright. It's plus five. This, this is vintage. Which armor class? Uh, 19. Miss. So I need a 15. Alright. Miss. Uh. Miss. 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 And I'm gonna give this guy advantage because he's behind you. <laughs> Miss. Oh, yeah. and this is so agile. Miss. Alright, here. And the heck. Give me a 20! Drama class? George? Uh, oh, sorry. George? Dare you. Oh, God. How long have I been for? Which armor class? Um, <laughs> uh, my armor class is 23, but if they're attacking me, they have disadvantage. What? If they're attacking me, they have disadvantage because I have a cloak that imposes disadvantage. I'm, I'm not. Say it again, Robert. Can you still not hear me? I hear you. I can hear you. But you have a cloak, what? Uh, I have a cloak that imposes disadvantage Two. on all attacks against me. All physical oh. attacks against Okay. Me. So I'm well, just he saying missed. he has disadvantage. Okay, he missed. And that's it for me. George? Uh, oh no, sorry. Right, sorry, sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry. Fe the Phoenix. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. Which armor class, Phoenix? Oh, yeah. Phoenix, Phoenix. What's armor class of the Phoenix? Um, she casts shield as a reaction. Okay, so what's armor class? Uh, 17 plus 5 from shield, so. Okay. Or 18 plus 5, so 23. So I need an 18 to hit. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, that's a hit. hit. Uh -huh. Take this! Oh yeah! You did it? Three. <laughs> okay. Uh, are this is this regular? Is this regular like regular weapons? Well, it's a regular. magical creature. So. Yeah, so I guess it's like magic. Okay. Three damage. Gotcha. Take that! Ugh. All right, George. All right, George. Just trying to warm you guys up. I'm just trying to tire you guys out now with all these, you know, so that you'll be really tired by the time it ends. You uh, players, you actual players. Way. I guess a bonus action this can be. Okay. You can do that. Uh, and then he will. Uh, he's gonna. He's gonna sharp shoot the guy that attacked. Okay. Uh, so that's a uh, uh, sixteen to hit. Yep. AC is fifteen. 
Yeah. And a net 20! Ow. Oh yeah, that's gonna... That's gonna leave a mark. <laughs> okay. So the first attack will do... Oh, that's, uh, that's good. 23 damage. Great. And the second attack... Uh, oh, I'm gonna roll this on roll 20. Figure out for a critical <laughs> hit, okay? I know, right? Oh, and I can re-roll that one. That's the critical hit. Uh, so forty-six. Six. Forty-six damage. For the second attack. Yeah, so that's all the second. Oh, attack. I see. And then the first <laughs> attack was uh, twenty-four. Right. Dead. <laughs> most, most good. Raziak. Let's see, Raziak. I'm just gonna keep dashing. Okay. Not very much. Uh, there we go. That's it's d difficult terrain. Difficult terrain. Oh. Okay. So half. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. King Hecaton. King oh, Hec. Yeah. Sorry. I I heard you, Ron. How does he know your name? Um. Yeah. Forgot about the little birds. <laughs> Yeah, the birds are cool. Yeah, the birds are awesome. Um, so he, first of all, what he does is he rolls to see if he gets his uh, thing back. Nope. Does not get his buddy thing back. Um, so he's going to shoot a ballista. Um, uh, can he see the guys surrounding? Wh wh who can he see? Can he see anyone from where he is? Um, no. No. No? Okay, well, he's just going to dash towards the wall. Okay. Um, and then, oh, wait. How, you see Turlang is going to start building a plant growth up the wall, so you probably can climb that up. Well, he's got, he can levitate. Oh, he can? Yeah. So he gets, he makes it. He get, makes it to the wall here. Okay. Um, and then, but I think that's a dash, so he can't... Um, do anything else, yeah. Turling. Uh, Turling's gonna cast uh, plant growth. Okay, so roll his, uh, you know, athletics to climb up, too. Yeah, really does. Roll a one so he can tear off the plant growth and fall back down. Breaking an ankle. Out. And he's out. Uh, he did not get a one. Did he have ankles? Uh, he got a uh, 14. So he's like halfway up. Okay. Manta. Ah, uh, Manta. Should, should, guys, should I cast a spell? Or should I save him? I really want to cast one. I really want to cast one. Okay. okay. But I really want to cast one. Then, well then, cast one. Shut up. Um. Okay. Well, maybe let's see how much. That, let's see how many people I can get in my little. Yeah, I'm trying to move this thing real quick, and it's it's giving me difficulty. Okay. Can I can I get these guys in and not the Phoenix? Yeah. It's yeah, good. I'm gonna do it. That, that works, right, Rod? Just sure. like, yeah. Um, so I'm gonna cast. I'm gonna uh, cast. I'm gonna pull. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna cast sickening radiance upon these guys. Sickening radiance. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> and it does this. 
Guys, I did it. I cast a spell. I just love casting spells. I can't stop myself. I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, you should roll. You should roll the spell casting class. I mean, there's yeah, there's nothing wrong with casting spells, especially since you have that recovery thing too. Yeah, right. So do I have to wait till their turn to decide what to do, right? No, uh, when the when, yeah, when a creature moves in spells area for the first time on a turn, so whenever they start their turn there. Sick yeah. What's the damage? Radiant damage. 40, okay. I mean, radiant. what type is radiant? Oh. Radiant. Darn it. <clears throat> Uh, remind me when I get there. Oh, you can you move a little bit? Oh yeah. Or you I'm just stay move, where you're at. Uh, I'm gonna move um, behind this thing and duck behind this crenellation. So that as I'm flying, so I'm gonna fly and like be like, wow. And can I? Oops, I didn't mean to move Hecaton. Sorry. Um, can I uh, reach this guy? Uh, okay. Cool. Someone below the wall. Yeah. Below the wall. Yeah. Phoenix. You mean Gibby? No. No, the Phoenix thing. Oh. Okay. I thought it was Gibby's next. Um. Yeah. So Phoenix is gonna roll to see if she can do the sunburst again. Okay. Uh, I need to get five or a six. And she didn't get it. So I'm just gonna attack. Um, can I? Can I use a? Can I, can I see which one is the most hurt? This one. Okay, she's gonna attack him with a melee hit. Um. Okay. So one D. I got a fifteen to hit. What the heck is all these numbers? <laughs> so the first one is to check if I hit, and then the other ones are the damage. So if you see, it says Phoenix Wing attack. There's the hit. It's 15. Oh, it's way up at the if top I, there. Dang. Yeah, so if I hit, it's 15. And then if I. You do did three hit, types damage. of damage? Yep. Wow. It's a slashing, which is the least. And then it's radiant and fire damage. Just wow. blow it up, basically. <laughs> I think you just blow it up. <laughs> Alright. Fury? Hit for her. Fury? Well, why is oh, yeah. Fury will run. It's on difficult terrain for him as well. Yeah. Okay, so his dash will just take him to there then. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit anticlimactic, people! I haven't run this much since giant training camp. Alright, Shadow why Demon. Is, why is it so much damage, Robbie? It's like, that's a lot of damage. That's crazy. I know, it's, t it's tons. That's why I told you, she's super OP, but that's just it. Those two, those two attacks, that's all she really has. That are good. Everything else kind of sucks. It's a. So whatever. it's two attacks. Two it's attacks. a. Where did Abe no, come? It's, it's like a custom creature, right? It's not even an official, is it? Uh, it's from a, it's from the page. It's from the monster page. Monster Which manual. monster page? Monster uh, manual? yeah. Not, not the monster manual. It's not. No. Yeah. Uh, it, no, it's from. Uh, I've got it right here. It's on on Earth Arcana. Oh, it is. Okay. Is it? Is yeah. it a phoenix? Yeah. It's a dull phoenix. Oh, that's. Yeah. All right. So shadow demon. That's amazing, dude. Yeah, maybe. Shadow demon, 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 demon. Oh, is that me? Okay, sorry. Demon, demon. Um, so the shadow demon will fly. How tall is the wall? Seventy feet, right? So we'll fly up the top of the wall. Oh. Do you, do you want me to roll his save or you? Uh, I can roll it. Okay. Yeah. Disadvantage. And what is it? Charisma, right? So charisma, yeah. Two. Uh, and this is... Does he do anything? I can't do anything. This guy's not very powerful. Okay, Harshnog. Harshnog? Getting somewhere. <laughs> no. All right. So let's do that sickening radiance. 
Yeah, yeah so Seeking Radiance is... You have to say, succeed in a constitution saving throw. Against an 18. An 18? Alright, I'll do the top three. Wow, fail. I'm gonna do the three on the left here. Seven, was it constitution? Yeah. Oh, they, they saved. And the three on the right. Whoa! Ah. Immune. Wow. So, what's the damage? Oh, 40. Uh, 40 10 radiant? Um, yeah, here we go. Okay. Still, got Still does some damage. 14. Oh, hold on. Gibby didn't, Gibby didn't get her turn. You guys hear me? Gibby missed her turn. Oh. That's her fault. Yeah, she was supposed to, she was supposed to go before the Phoenix. Yeah, oh, okay, I'll switch. I'll... Yeah. We'll just skip her. I can't hear you. He said no. no. <laughs> he said what? Just a little bit of they're beginning a little bit of damage here. Uh, okay, let's do Gibby real quick. All right, Gibby, go ahead. Okay, uh, frenzy, reckless, great. <coughs> great every time, great. Which one do you attack? <laughs> Uh, you're doing it with advantage, though. Uh, which one are you attacking of those three? Okay. Uh, the, the one in the front. This one right here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a hit. Okay. 33. First damage. Just blows up in your face all this rock and clay and... <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, next one. Um, I go from my back. Okay. When I have it in my back. 13. Yeah, try again. 15 armor cards? 20. No. Yeah, she got 22. Okay. Uh, Eight. And then for damage, she got... Uh, 33. 33 again. Okay. One. Uh, that's a hit. Oh, yes. Uh, 36. 36. Nice. You're like, this is the first time you don't have a bunch of blood on you. Just dust. <laughs> Just yeah. dust and little pebbles. Alright, let me finish these guys. Um. Uh, Okay, so since the radiant dan they're totally, um, you know, flying off. Oh, well, these rolled twenty, so I'm gonna say they um, they they know to avoid it, and they're gonna go around and attack something. So they're gonna come around outside of it. Ah! This one just flies off like that. Then this one flies off, so you get a free attack. Nice. And the. Uh yeah, that, those guys at the top have, have a, one level of exhaustion. So, yeah. right. uh, does a 12 hit? No, I'm guessing not. No. Phoenix misses. Wow. Yeah. Alright, so these ones attack the Phoenix. Okay. And these ones are just kind of at a loss, so they're just kind of like, ah! How far can they move? 30 feet? F uh, 50 feet. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Sounds good. Uh, Georgie, I'm excited to see what you do. What's our cast of the Phoenix? Uh, uh, shield only lasts for one turn, right? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, shields, shield so, lasts for your entire turn until you go again. Uh, yeah, so it's only then, uh, it's only 18 then. No, no, you still have shield on. Oh, well, last? No. To the yeah, end of your one. Yeah. yeah. The end of your I next turn, or their, their reaction yeah, until the beginning of, until the beginning of your next turn. Yeah, so then it's gone. Oh yeah, you already had your. No. I had I already had my turn. Yeah. Oh, you already had your turn then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So what's your armor class? Eighteen. I can I can cast it two more times, but I'm gonna I'm gonna hold yes. off. Uh, second one. Missed. Yeah, this, the damage on these guys is pretty low. Uh, that's a hit. Nineteen. Okay, so take. 
Oh yeah, wings. take seven! These broken wings. I'll take it. Oops, no, forget that. Uh, that. Whoa. Last gargoyle, yeah. that's a hit. A natural hundred, Ron. Right? <laughs> Did I? Wow. Yeah. I got a natural hundred? Yeah. No, I didn't. Wow, really? Yeah. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna keep that for something. Yeah. Uh, so two hits there. All right. Uh, so take uh, nine. nine. Okay. Uh, this gargoyle over here. Come on, Gibby. Which I'm class again? Like eight, twenty-three or something? Huh? Oh, so that's a hit. Take. Oh yeah, take one. <sighs> one damage. Oh, this guy flies in, scraping and biting at you. Yes. Yeah, this. Trebuchet! Alright, Trebuchet is going for... Oh, Wait, the you guys are all behind the, the wall. The one on uh, the bottom can't do anything. There's no one, no one yeah, around no. him, right? No, the the, uh, same with the other one, the one on the right. Oh, I, think, yeah, I yeah. can only see George. Get him. Going for George. Disadvantage. No! Oh! oh he did 20. My uh. Lord. <laughs> oh, man. It looks like it's coming right at you. Little clip move. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, George's turn. All right, George. Will. Two are coming at you right here. Uh, yeah. Flying yeah, in. Uh, George is gonna cast uh, hunter. Good, use up your spells, good. Nice first level spell. <laughs> yeah, I have another spell. Okay, uh, <laughs> so he's going to attack with the sharpshooter. Uh, that's a 25 to hit. Thirty-one damage. Thirty-one damage on the top one. Uh, they are both the same. And then the second start to attack. Twenty-eight. And that would be. Oh wow! Almost max damage. Uh, Forty damage. <laughs> Stones come crashing down. Is that it? Uh, yeah. Reziac? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna <laughs> run over here. Can I see? Uh, can I see any of these guys? Yeah, these guys are up on the wall. Oh, cool. Um, is the one that's like kind of bigger? I'm gonna aim for him. Okay. Uh, Sacred flame. Okay. Uh, so I gotta say. It. Yeah. Dex 19. Nope. Uh, uh, hold on, just let me double check this night. Uh, yeah, Dex 19. Okay. Uh, Sacred Flame. Rebop. Yeah, 50 damage. Dang. Oh! That's a, sa that's a Sacred Flame right there. That's a. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a funeral pyre or whatever. <laughs> and I just yell out, Do you doubt the power of Kosu? <laughs> and I end my, end my turn there. You see Kosu uh, going. <laughs> yeah, somewhere <laughs> far away. <laughs> All right, King Hecaton. So King Hecaton is going to cast Levitate, and he is going to climb the wall because when you levitate, you just become weightless. So he's going to like, shoo, 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 shoo. and he, he actually the levitate itself gets him twenty feet in the air, and then he can move fifty feet. So can you get to the top of the wall? Yep. Okay, and then uh, I don't think he has a bonus action because levitate's an action, right? So 
I don't think he can do anything else. Yeah, right, Ron? Yeah. Yeah. And he gets his uh, he gets his attack back. Okay. He's up on the wall. Turlane, get that last move in. Yeah. Twelve five. <laughs> Oh yeah, 19 plus 6, that's 25. Alright, he kind of jumps down now, he's right there. Cool. So he can, um, he can, he can have an action. He's going to throw a rock. Alright. Uh, at uh, this guy. Uh, 27 to hit. Yep. Jeez. One, eleven, six. Um, seventeen damage. Okay. Mata. Mata. I'm going to fly um, about forty-five feet. Forty. Well, you can fly, oh, that's forty feet to here. Thirty. Forty feet to here. And cast agonizing blast on this guy here. Okay. Bye bye, little guy. Bye bye, little guy. It's a natural twenty because he's she's shooting with advantage oh, yeah. because uh, she's in darkness. And so she shoots with advantage and attacks that guy. And it's going to be a eighteen damage and knocks him back. I mean, with advantage. Normally it's 10 feet, but you let me know. Yeah, back I mean, into with, the radiance. <laughs> yeah, back into the radiance. And then she, the, the, the eagle's going to continue flying another, like, 15 feet. And she's going to cast Agonizing Blast on this other guy. Boom. The advantage is a 29. And hits him for 8 force damage. And he gets knocked back. Hopefully into the agonizing radiance. Sure. What's the damage? Uh, eight, eight. Oh, eight. Just eight. Yeah. And then she is going to use her tentacle rod to attack this other guy, which is just within thirty feet. I've done all the calculations. I'm so good at calculating. And that attacks for nineteen. Is that hit? Yeah, fifteen armor class. Yeah, great. And then he's going to make a DC 18 dexterity save. Take seven bludgeoning damage. Fail. And then so he just got Which one was it? This guy? Yeah, that guy has disadvantage in his next turn. And, and then the eagle is going to swoop down and tuck himself back into this uh, behind this ventilation. 355. Go 25 feet, so he's gonna pick himself back in here. Ook. Okay, uh. Kibi? Damage? Yeah. Okay. Okay, next one. Oh, oh. You better hope that. Yeah, that's a hit. So 28. Next damage. Ow. Dead. And one. Last guy. Whoa. Smushed. I like uh, how you're smushing them, Ron. Yeah. Well, they're laying <laughs> down, you know? Yeah, they're smushed. I like it. And, uh, 35 damage for the last one. Just tearing up stone and clay. Just. 
It's like in a china shop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Phoenix. All right, Phoenix gonna try to do its uh, fire explosion. Hey, I did it. All right, so everyone's gotta do a DC 16 deck save. What's the radius? Those 20? guys around. Uh, 10. Okay, so just these three. Yeah. DC yeah, what? Small. DC 16 decks. Fail. Let me do all three. So it's I mean, it's one at a time. Uh, one Ooh, succeeds. And... Ooh, two succeed. Wow. Nice. So for the succeeds, it's half damage of. It's... Oh! Dang. 50 51. damage. 50. 50. Did I roll the exact same thing twice? I did. Holy yeah, crap. you did. That's crazy. Five, eight, four, one, seven. I mean, seven. swap the eight and the four, but yeah. Yeah, five, eight, four, one, seven. That's good. <laughs> okay. That's amazing, dude. Right. Blasted him. Nice. Furyk? Or, or, yeah, you just say there. Furyk? Uh, Furyk is going to run a little further up. He's going to try to throw a rock at... There's one gargoyle, sort of. Yeah. Uh, for a rock throw, and let's see, does a 21, I guess a 21 hits? Yep. So he takes 37 damage. Skadoosh! Just blows it. Oh! And Furig laughs to himself. <laughs> oh, that's for Zolto! <laughs> Zolto, I'll avenge you! Shadow Demon? Try and save. Oh, Shadow Demon. Wait, what? Oh, uh, I rolled a Seven. one. Ooh. Is that a save for what? So the I, I won't, yeah, I won't roll it next turn. Okay, cool. So he, the Shadow Demon, one of his great abilities, the Shadow Demon, is he can pass through solid barriers. So he's not going to get to the top of that thing. He's just going to, he's at the top of the wall. He's just going to sweep, sweep right through this little thing and get all the way over to here. And then in those boulders, he's going to use his bonus action to hide. <laughs> he's, a, he's not that cool, this guy. But he gets a 1, so he's not hitting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Harshnog. Oh, wait. He, oh, yeah. No, he can... Sorry, he can dash this guy. Sorry. So he's dashed. Sorry, he dashed his... Um, all the way down to here. Where? Oh, yeah. <sighs> uh, yeah, so I'm gonna move. I can make it to the, to the door? <laughs> no. That's that's uh, 80 feet high. Oh, no. Yes. No, no. So you have to go around. Okay, so here I guess I can. Yeah, that's fine. I can cast Levitate on you while I can, yeah. yeah. Okay. You see, um, these two fly off. Where are you going? Uh, uh, these two try to attack. Ooh, that's a hit. Who, who's attacking? The Phoenix. Two hits on the Phoenix. Oh. Miss. No, it's plus five, so hit. So three hits. This oh, plus this plus six. So twelve plus six, eighteen. Eighteen damage on the phoenix. Oh, sorry. Eighteen uh, damage 18 on the damage. phoenix. Oh, did she get bum rushed again? I'm gonna cast yeah. shield then. Whoa. What was this, shield plus five or something? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I think they all missed. Okay. Sorry, I was away. I didn't know she got hit. Uh -huh. Then the two guys in the in the signal radiance have to save. All right, that's a hit. Oh, okay. Hold on a second. Hit oh, Gabby, please. Gibby rather. Okay. Gibby, Gabby, and a miss. So Gibby take a devastating two. You got hit for two damage. And they got to save yeah. Constitution and the radiance. Yeah, eighteen Constitution save. I will save. Failed. Okay, so what's the damage? The damage is. I'm so glad you failed, Ron. It was so nice to roll that. Huh? 23 damage. And a level of exhaustion. 
they they succeeded at the last ones. Yeah, so just one. Yeah. So watch out ability checks. Okay. Well they're really weak anyway. Uh the sky flies to George. Just because it's personal. This one... Bye! Where are they going? Right, these guys are re- and the ones over here are reloading the trebuchet. Uh oh. Guys! George! Oh no, no, uh, I take that back. They don't, they're not reloading it, they take off. Guys, we gotta stop them. George. George will bonus action disengage. Um, oh no, he's not. Uh, no, he's just gonna move. He'll take the opportunity attack at disadvantage. That's a miss. Missed. Uh, okay, he's gonna use his bonus action to transfer his hunter's mark onto this guy right next to him. Tartruder, that's a 25, and a 15, I think a 15 hits, right? Yeah, 15 only hits. Alright. Uh, ten, 14, 34 damage for the first attack. Okay. <laughs> you do yeah. anything else? Uh, that was with the first attack or the second attack? Both. You needed one, one hit point to miss. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Uh, that's not going to move. That's, uh, 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 oh, let me just hop down here. Okay. Roll, roll, see if you can crack your ankle. Ring of Feather Fall. Oh, yeah. Darn it. Damn you, Ring of Feather Fall! Alright, Raziak? Alright, uh, Phoenix? Oh no, it's Raziak. Um, Raziak, I can't, uh, see those guys by the trebuchet, can I? No. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna sprint. Uh, is this, uh, I know. Is this difficult terrain? Yeah. It's all oh, sandy. God. I'm gonna be, Raziak's gonna be so, like, sweaty and tired when he gets around the side. Okay, that's that's right, yeah. <laughs> King Hecaton. King Hecaton is going to look at the phoenix and say I admire your fire <laughs> and use his uh, use his um, lightning strike to attack to hurl a magical lightning bolt at those three things attacking the phoenix all three of them have to save a DC 17 foot so they're going to go uh, what's, is you going to hit the phoenix too though right no, because I'm going to cast it. Uh, uh, every everybody within ten, uh, each creature within ten feet of that point, right? So I'm going to cast it at this point okay. here, and then it's going to go boom. Okay, but if you roll a one, you get him too. Okay. Roll. Oh me. Roll one. I got an eight. So they have to do DC 17 gets 37 throws. Okay, then that guy takes half of this damage. <laughs> so good. Well, just thinking about it. Just thinking about it because it's the lots of dice. <laughs> 49 damage. Half of that is 24. 24? Is that it? You want to move or anything? Uh, Hecaton? Yeah, buddy! Hecaton is going to so that, jump! Oh, yeah. 
What? I guess it's difficult terrain because oh. you got all these steep steps. Well, he has a ring of feather falling too. <laughs> Wait, he has there? a at he has at will feather fall. So. Oh, okay, so no difficult. So he's just gonna run and leap off this balcony and fly like shoot down. And he's, he's gonna go. Ah! I don't even know where he's going, but he's gonna just go down. I guess. Why not? Okay. Turning. Where are you going, Hecaton? Uh, Turning is gonna move. Uh, and he's gonna hurl a rock. Uh, back up. Alright. Oh, nice. He hits. He got a 20 and a 14, but it's disadvantage. So it's you, not him. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Amata? Amata! We are grinding through this. It's almost 9 o'clock. It's amazing. Uh, Amata! I guess we're going another week. Yeah, right? Amata! Or two. Fly, <laughs> fly 25 feet down here. Bing, 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 bong. And it's going to shoot an agonizing blast at... No, actually first he's going to shoot a tentacle rod at this guy here. Bye bye, guy. I forgot to move those guys. I'm going to say they're right here. I forgot to move them. Oh, you... Oh, okay. Well, that changes things a little bit. Um, well, anyway, I got a 25 to hit on that guy. And it's uh, 10 bludgeoning damage. The bottom one? Yeah. And he's got to roll a DC 18. Uh, he's dead. Uh, <laughs> so they look the, totally the, just damn, you know, totally damaged, yeah. and missing limbs. Yes. So before I did that, I uh, shot an agonizing and blast because I didn't know he was outside there to see the radius. I shoot an agonizing and blast at this guy, okay. and it's going to be a awesome shot of natural 20. Oh, blows him up. He's dead. Dead. Uh, dude, what's up, Amata? She's gonna fly, and then he's gonna fly another 40, 50 feet down here. So that's six, 70 feet here, 65, 60, 60 feet. And then he, she's gonna shoot the final agonizing blast at the guy next to the phoenix. Bye, bye, guy. 21, and hits him for six, four seconds, but pulls him closer to her, so she he gets within the sickening radiance. Bow! Oh, or that kills him. And then she's gonna fly. The, the eagle is going to loop around like this and land next to Razia and say, Hey, buddy, want to ride? <laughs> oh, I don't know if he can get a ride. Can he? So, yeah, so the, the, the way it was described to me when I got the rod, the red feather fall, uh -huh. it, I mean, uh, feather, is that it can carry two people but only one person in combat. So I'll have to drop Razia off and then, like, be fighting. You can carry two people Rest. what? You can carry two people but only one person in combat. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, that, that's good. Raz is gonna say, "Get this darkness out of here." Oh, yeah, you don't want to ride? No, he don't like darkness, man. All right. This is against his religion. Okay. Uh -huh. Exactly. Gibby. Curse you. Curse you. Uh, okay. Can I attack the one left there? Yeah, one left. Uh, so, Reckless, Kim, Renzi, Gray, Blue, 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 This is like the fourth turn. Okay. Yeah, you got it. That's a hit. 32 damage. So, who's close? Nice. Who's left, even? There's three left, there's three left there, and there's four over on this other side. Yeah, too. 
swipe at that guy. You gonna throw an axe at him? Oh wait, how'd you get 90 feet? You went too far. You can't go that far. Oh, how much is it? Like 50. Why are you such a cheater? Mm -hmm. like right here, is it? If you fly 50 feet, we have some boots or something that you can jump. Well, she has the cape that will give her an extra 20, but that still won't be enough. Well, that's well, she can throw her axe. Okay, you wanna try that? You wanna fly? Yeah. Throw your axe? So right here. Yeah. Little super gnome, fly to here. And then chuck your axe. Oh, axe. Super gnome, super gimme to the rescue. Yeah. Yeah, what's happening? The hit. <laughs> that's cool. Nine? No, six. Six? Six what? Uh, damage? No, 31, 31. damage. Give my Jeez. gargoyles, my pet gargoyles, a chance. She's at a point right now where the automatic damage is 25. <laughs> and then you have to roll. Alright, it's still alive, but barely. Just, she took a chunk of it off. Nice. Alright, Phoenix. Alright, Phoenix will fly down ah! to these guys over here. She's gonna roll to try to do her supernova. Oh, yes. she got it. <laughs> uh, 31, uh, 39 damage. Right, they they, they got to save first on a DC 16 next day. No, she blasts them both. They just <gasps> shatter into, you know, nice. burnt clay pots. Kind of a Good job, buddy. Razzic Firebird. Alright, Firog. Brook is gonna just keep on trucking, man. <laughs> no oh XP God. for you, Firog. You got one guy. Shadow Demon is going to. No save for him this turn. Fly. 60 feet here and try to hide again in the shadow of that thing and makes it. Or gets it. Gets it. Doesn't make it. The hiding isn't like a save. It's like that's his role. It's a uh, twenty-four. So if if that guy wants to see him, he has to roll above a twenty-four perception. Arsenal. Arsenal. Skippy. <laughs> what are they doing over there? They're like so like. <laughs> Uh, because uh, Lila wake up, so I had to. Uh, Tell Lila to get back down. She's a busy girl. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna move right now. Uh, right, Harsh now. Yeah. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Forty feet. Alright, my turn? Alright. Uh, so these gargoyles are suddenly just taken off. All suddenly in unison. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh man, there's more over here. Shoot. There's a, okay, so there's a big hole here, open to the underground, but they're flying past it to this sort of broken up building here. It's, it's, oh, whoa. This collapsed stage or something. Okay. What are they going to do on the collapsed stage, guys? Uh, George. Uh, George will move. Guys. Bonus action dash. Then uh, we'll uh, shoot, uh, shoot this guy. 
this right. poor this poor soul with a sharpshooter shot. He has no soul. Uh, that is a twenty-eight. Uh, Dead. 19 damage. Dead? Uh, okay, he's gonna shoot at this guy over here. Alright. For so the sharpshooter shot. Oh my gosh, another 19. Twenty-five. Twenty-five damage. Okay. Is that it? Uh, that's it. Yep. Razziak. All right, I'm going to keep on trucking. Uh, Razziak uh, cannot accept the darkness. He's a he's a, a priest of the light, cleric of the light. He just keeps on trucking. Uh, he's right. got his 40 movements and a dash. He thanks Amanta though. He's he's still polite. Yeah, I was he's gonna like, say, at least thank me. <laughs> uh, thanks, but no thanks! <laughs> Alright. Kosoth is rolling his eyes now. <sighs> King Hecaton? King Hecaton's gonna roll to see if he gets his. Uh, yeah, he gets his the guy. He gets his thing back. <coughs> That's the side thing, guys. So he's gonna shoot a lightning strike at uh, these guys over here. He's got range. And he's a 500 feet. <coughs> Whatever. So I'm assuming that's in range. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, that's in range. <laughs> um, he just calls down lightning from the heavens. And I think it's going to be. I think if he hits it, he hits it there, it's going to off all four of those guys, right? Yeah. Yeah, so. Um, they have to make DC 17 saving throws. <clears throat> Male. <clears throat> Middle guy. Dexterity. Male. Right guy. Male. Bottom guy. Male. Damage? They all take this much damage. Rolling the dice. Wow. 49. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> and he's gonna, he's gonna, as he's doing that. That's a storm running, giant. That's yeah, a storm giant. As he's doing that, he's running down and he can go 50 feet. So he's like, I'm coming for you. They're not dead, but they're really almost dead. Awesome. Three of them. All right. Turling? Uh, Turling is going to lumber forward <laughs> slowly. <laughs> Alrighty. That's Turling's turn. Mata? <clears throat> ah, Mata. Ah, Mata. He's going to fly. Is this still going? The radiance? Yeah. I mean, why, why, <laughs> why not? not? Right? <laughs> um, and that's all she can do. Really? Only that? I'm, I mean, they're too far away from my, from my agonizing blast. They're too far away for Gibby? anything else. You gotta pick up your uh, axe. Yeah. You can go 70 feet with your flying and jumping. <coughs> so that's 23 feet. And then you can go 50 uh, right about there if you want. Yeah. Phoenix? Phoenix. Oh. Phoenix, Phoenix Jones. Friggin' little kid, always wanting attention. I know. Please, uh... Alright, uh... Hmm. So, Phoenix is going to... Hmm, let's do... Let's double that. Phoenix is going to fly all the way to here. Oh yeah, wait. I, sh I should double mine too, because I'm dashing. Sorry. 
Yeah, I was and wondering about that eagle thing. I was like, are you sure that's all you can do? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that's it for the Phoenix. And then Farouk is up next. Farouk, or Dash. Let's see, I just lost all my run. Okay, Farouk will run down to there. Shadow Demon? <laughs> Shadow Demon is going to dash as well. I'm going to try to save. Oh, no. Darn it, I rolled a one again. Another one, buddy. So no save in the next turn then, huh? Yep. That's exciting. So he's going to dash down to here and hide behind this rock. <laughs> okay. That's what, so that's what the Shadow Demon does? They always hide? Yeah, they're basically shadow. They're, they're creatures of shadow. So any shadow they find, they can hide in the shadow. So it's twenty. He gives it twenty. So if you want to attack him, basically you have to roll a perception of over twenty. Oh, right. Arshnag. <sighs> Arshnag, what's your forty feet? Forty feet trudge. The gargoyles. Okay, so they, you see them go into the here. They were flying over and down in, and they seem to disappear into the sand. What you, know, you know, they kind of like dig in the sand and go hiding, or whatever it is they're doing. Um, and Phoenix, okay, the Phoenix, you can see down below a little bit, but I'm going to wait for whoever else to get up there to really see anything. So you guys are basically out of combat at this point. So you can just go ahead and move. And we'll do a little bit before we end. So not not combat, but if you guys want to all get where you want to get and ask me what you're looking at. Yeah. Uh, so you, you can move yeah. wherever. By the way, my Phantom Steed and Invisible Servant are gonna are, are, are trotting up and they're gonna hang out um, sort of right here, Ron, behind the like maybe like tuck away a little bit, just sort of hide. So, yeah. Okay, so you. Oh, I don't have a. Should I actually have a, a little artwork of this horse somewhere? Well, we can do it next time. It's fine. Okay. And then I think what I'm gonna do. Like, yeah, I'm just talking out loud. Sorry. Um. Fly over here. I'm gonna fly. I'm just gonna fly down here. Sort of like stop. Mm. I'm not gonna do that. Fine. You guys can bring up all your other NPCs too. Can I hide behind this wall? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna hide. We should take the hide action more often. Awesome. Well, Harsh and I, wait a minute. You go. Oh, Firog? Oh, you guys. Um, you guys come around this side, right? Oh, yeah, you said bring all our characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Uh, I guess he can hit. Okay. Tura. Uh, oh, yeah, you guys come around that way. Hold on, now I got it. Click. Don't watch this. Mm. Where my little shadow demon at? Here, I'll roll your.
we, I don't know if it would uh, be there. Firog, roll DC 15 dexterity save. He got a 17. All right. He, he sees the sand right here start to give, and he kind of like, Whoa! stops before it, you know, it starts to, but doesn't totally give. Like, he gets, he kind of backs off. Okay. He's like, uh, Harishnar, watch out. There's something funny going on with the sand. Gibby, you can respond as Harshnar. What does Harshnog say? I said, Hey, Harshnog, there's something funny going on with the sand. The sand is like moving, or it's like gonna give. Oh, <laughs> it's called acting. Okay. Act Harshnog just, Harshnog goes, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> and Farouk's just like, uh, uh, you, Are you alright, Harshnog? I've known you for a while, and you're usually not so shy. And. <laughs> I can't do it. Are you being charmed? I don't see Gibby doing that. Or Gabby. <laughs> okay. Anyone else? Yeah. You do see, I see that? Uh, you see these guys kind of wiggle their way down into the sand here. And they're all kind of disappearing right here. Can... Okay. Can I cast another lightning bolt at them? Well, they're in the sand. They're already like... Cause that, that was as you're coming up, you saw them do that. Okay. So they're okay. covered. They're covered, okay. And then, are those stairs going down, by the way? Oh, yeah. These stairs? Yeah. Um, good question. They kind of look like they're part of the old... Yeah. Yeah, uh, these stairs go down... Stage. Yeah, it's there's like a collapsed stage. You know, it's all kind of barren, like whatever. Maybe there was a wood platform up there at one point, long ago. Yeah. So we can go down those stairs, or are they just going up into the they go down. platform? They go down into the darkness. And this hole goes down into the darkness, but it's pretty far down. It's like 60 feet. Huh. Or more. Okay. Huh. All right. A layer of Imra. So what about Ron, can I ride on the Phoenix? I think the sh I'm going to send my shadow demon down the stairs, Ron. <laughs> but I have fire immunity. Maybe, yeah, I guess Whoa! so. Oh, the shadow demon? Okay. How long does he last? The shadow, the demons, for my my demon spell, summon greater demon lasts one hour. Oh, okay, one hour, so that's pretty good. Okay. Um, but why don't I roll every turn then for him to save? That's kind of weird. I don't know what to tell you. Alright, I'll. I, mean, it's, I guess I'll do yeah, arbitrary was, at this point. Yeah, I mean, I feel like. I feel like if I had a spell like Planar Binding or something like that, I can bind him and then you won't have to save that, so maybe that's why. <laughs> you know? But like. But also, I think like. How does he. Can he communicate with you? What's, what's something? Yeah, yeah. So basically, I can issue a, a command to it um, to, do, to tell it what to do, and it'll do that until I tell it to do something else. And if I don't do a command, it just. It, Attacks a creature within reach that's attacked it. So does it, it? Okay, it goes down. Does it come up and say, "Then what do you want it to do?" I mean, I don't. I don't know if you see through it, or you know, does it got to come back to you and tell you what's going on? Yeah, it's got to come it? back to me. I think. I don't think it's like a familiar, so it's not like. Okay. What about? Oh, um, maybe a telepathy. Does that work on the demon too, or no? Yeah, actually, it does. Yeah, I have telepathy. I can. I can talk to the demon telepathically. Yeah, exactly. That's good. Okay, so it's um. Ah, down. Ah. Many creatures, many creatures down here. What many, kind of many, creatures? many. What kind? I say, and I say, Zuggiest is. What kind of creatures? Let's see. And it was hiding when it did that, by the way, just so you know, it was creeping down. Yeah, roll it's. Uh, is it gonna roll it or no? Yeah, so it's got a roll for hiding, and it rolls a 15. 
So if the creatures have passive perception above a 15, they automatically see them, otherwise they have to roll perception if they think there might be something there. Yeah. If they don't think there's anything there, then the passive perception is what goes, I believe. Okay, this is going to be funny, but I can't do it now. Okay, so we're going to end it here, and let's see if anyone's got any other suggestions. Nope. George is trying really hard not to just, just jump right down that <laughs> hole. I know. Um, yeah. Okay. I mean, I guess, yeah, is, is this a good position for me, guys? I'm just actually making this for us. <laughs> what do you two like do? That. What are the two uh, fighting, what does the fighting couple do over here? The giants or the, like... Furog and Gideon? Ashnok, what do they do? Uh, they're trying to figure out what's going on with Zan there. Uh, Farouk's wa like, c waiting for Harshnog to like snap out of his trance then. <laughs> hey, right. hey Harshnog, you wanna look at this sand with me? Oh, I know, I know, I know what happens. Can... Go on, you do your thing first, sorry. What thing? <laughs> do what oh. thing? Okay. Well, can, Go ahead. Can Harshnog, can Harshnog like goes because not Harshnog, Hecaton because he's Hecaton, right? It's like, my friends, we must flush the dragon from her lair, and she, he smashes his staff in the ground, and like light just erupts from his statue or his staff, and he like puts it over the the edge and like peers down. Come out, Jimrog. Okay, so you see down there, though, um, you see over here on this side, it looks like some sort of giant snake statue, and there's some snake reptilian things there, human size, okay. doing their ritual or something. But then from that point on, you see it just goes on and on. Yeah. Okay. Oh, underground. Okay, cool. Yeah. But, but that's it for now, guys. Okay. Oh, wow. Da, 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 da. Working that right. is so exciting. This is it. Meaning another night, this is it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright. Alright, I'll, All right, we'll I'll, uh, I'll, I'll just add some more stuff to it then. More danger. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. More hit points. I love it. Hit and don't, don't forget the horse. Oh, yeah. Okay. Of course. Yeah. I just want him to be fodder. I don't know what you're doing. He's going to die. Is it, it's visible, right? Steed. The steed is visible. It's a phantom steed. It's visible. And he lasts for an hour, too. But he's 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 he, if he gets hit by anything, he has one hit point. So, oh. <laughs> But he, he might wow, be a good distraction. Wow, boy. He yeah. might be a good distraction. Okay. All right. Good night. Hey, hey good night, boy. Boy.